What's going on, guys? Mr. Meyer here, coming to you from the basement studios yet again. All right, so we're going to continue with our racket skills. On Monday, we just worked on hitting the ball back and forth to each other. If you remember, we had that ball and it was swinging back and forth. Yesterday, we worked on the forehand. Today, we're going to work on the backhand. All right, so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. First things first, make sure you have your tennis racket. If you have a marker, if you have a cooking spoon, make sure that they're not making meatballs with this and they're scooping at the meatballs. That's gonna be get sauce all over the place. Or if you have a pencil, and if you don't have any of those things, you can just pretend. Because what we're trying to do is hold on to something like this handle right here, right? So I'm gonna talk about the big difference before we get warmed up on the backhand and the forehand. So yesterday we worked in the forehand where we're taking one hand and swinging over our shoulder Right? Today with the backhand, it's gonna be a little different. It's gonna come from the other side of your body, but you're gonna use two hands, almost like a baseball bat, and you're still gonna finish over your shoulder. Again, it's gonna come back, and you're going here, but you're using two hands today, whereas yesterday, we were using only one hand to swing through. All right? We'll talk about that again before we get started. We're gonna talk about the ready position, the swing position, how we finish, and what we should do after we hit the ball. But we need to get warmed up first. So let's stand up. If you're at school, push in your chair and let's get ready to go. All right, first thing we do, like always, we'll do jog in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So let me just fix the angle real quick. Just angle it up a little bit. All right, let's do some calf raises, my favorite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's do some side lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, let's get into some shoulder raise. Warm up the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, hip abduction out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, side bends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Scissor arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Let's do some forward kicks. Let's go from the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's get some press-ups going. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Last one, trunk twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, guys, great job. So let's take a seat real quick. We're going to go over the technique really fast on how to do the backhand hit. <clears throat> so I'm going to do it with the tennis racket. You guys can use your marker or crayon or pencil or whatever you're going to use. So first thing we need to talk about is quickly review the parts of the tennis racket. And most of the other rackets are pretty much the same, like in ping pong, called a little differently. Top part, where you hit the ball, that's called the head. From here all the way down to here, it's called the shaft. And from here down to here, the black part right here for me, is called the grip or the handle. That's where you're gonna hold on to the racket. So today it's gonna be important that we know that and how to hold it because the back and the forehand, are very similar, but the big difference we just talked about before was the forehand you use one hand, the back hand you're gonna use two. And you're actually gonna swing from the other side of your body. All right, so let's go over the grip real fast. So if I am a right-handed player or left hand, doesn't matter, that hand is gonna go on the bottom. Whatever hand I like to swing with on my forehand goes, still goes on the bottom. My opposite hand is gonna come on top. Pretty much that waiting position we talked about yesterday, right? So in that waiting position, which is knees are bent, feet apart, my hands are here, right? On the forehand, I step forward, bring the tennis racket back, I swing it and finish over my shoulder. Same thing with the back hand, except we can do everything on this side and use two hands. You can still sit. If you want to practice with me, you can, but we're going to do it together in a second. So hands are here in that waiting position, right? My right hand is on the bottom. If you're a lefty, you would put your left hand. And my other hand's on top. When the ball starts to come to me, I'm going to take that step forward, bring the tennis racket back. And then when I swing, I'm going to hit and finish over my shoulder again. After that, I get back into that waiting position. All right, so watch again. Waiting position, racket back, step forward. I hit it and I bring it over my shoulder. All right, good, one more time. So I'm here, I step forward, racket back, swing over my shoulder. All right, so now you guys are gonna try. We'll do five or six together. So let's stand up, push in your chair, make sure you have your tennis racket with you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get in that waiting position. Feet apart, knees are bent. <coughs> Hands on the racket. Again, if you swing from this side on your forehand, put that hand on the bottom, put your other hand on top. Good. So now we're in that waiting position. The ball is coming to this side. So now we're going to take a step forward, racket back. When you hit, you finish over your shoulder. Good. Waiting position. Knees are bent. One hand on the bottom, other hand on top. Okay, the ball is coming to this side. Step back. Sorry, step forward, racket back, swing over your shoulder. All right, here we go again. Step, racket back, over your shoulder. Good. Back to the waiting position. Step, racket back, over. Waiting position. Step, racket back, over. Back into that waiting position. I like to jump sometimes into it. I feel like I get back there a little bit quicker. It also reminds me to get back there. So I'm here. Step, racket back, hit. Back to the waiting position. All right. Couple more times with me. Step, racket back, over, jump back to the waiting position. Step, back, over, boom. Step, back, and over, boom. Step, back, over, boom. All right, good, so that's the backhand, all right? Different from the forehand. Okay, now we're gonna practice it with the ball, all right? And let's just talk about it because some people may have missed the video yesterday or the day before. So I have this ball on a string. What I'm gonna do, and I apologize, you're gonna lose my face a little bit on this, sorry. So, I'm gonna let go of the ball. It's gonna swing to you. Once you lose the sight of the ball, that's when you're gonna swing on your backhand and hit it back to me, All right? So, I'm gonna let the ball go. You swing once you lose sight of the ball. 
So once that ball leaves the screen, that's when you're gonna swing and hit. All right, let me just adjust this a little bit. All right, let's try that again. All right, so you're standing in your waiting position, both hands on the racket, and then you're gonna swing on this side if that's your backhand. If your backhand's on this side, you can swing from that side. But remember, it's two hands, and your back kind of faces the screen, and then you come through. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna let it go. Once you lose sight of it, you swing and finish over your shoulder. Ready, go. Good. And swing over your shoulder. Make sure you finish over your shoulder. Here it comes again. Nice. All right. So make sure you're standing up right now because some people may be sitting. You're going to stand up in that waiting position. When you lose the ball, hit it back to me and I'll catch it. Ready? And swing. Good. So a tip I was giving my class yesterday was once the ball starts to come this way and it's about here, that's when you get into that sideways position. Okay, don't wait for it to leave to get in that sideways position. So once the ball's coming to you and it gets to about here, you wanna be sideways. And then once you lose it, then you swing over your shoulder. All right, so again, you're in your waiting position. Once the ball gets to about that spot, you start going sideways to get ready for it and then you swing over. All right, ready? And here we go, you should be in the side position, swing, good. Okay, ready? Side position, swing. Good, make sure you get back into that ready position. Good, let's do a couple more, you ready? Nice. Good, all right, one more. All right, good. Now, we're gonna hit it back and forth to each other, and that's called a rally. When you're playing tennis or ping pong, and you're hitting the ball back and forth to each other. It's not called a catch, because we're not catching it. We're hitting it back and forth to each other. That is called a rally. And we're gonna rally back and forth right now, okay? Now, I'm just gonna hit it back and forth. I'm gonna try to get back to the ready position and come over, but it's gonna be a little bit harder for me because the ball's going up and down. You guys are gonna be in that ready position. When the ball comes, you step, swing, and finish over, but quickly get back into that ready position. That's probably the hardest thing and the thing that a lot of people forget. After they swing, they just stand there and they just walk back into the right position. That ball is going to come back quick. So you're here, you hit, and quickly get back into that ready position. All right, are you guys ready? All right, here we go, and swing. Good, and swing. And swing. Good, and swing. Good, swing. Good, swing. Nice, swing. Good, there we go. Good, make sure you finish over your shoulder. And after you swing, quickly get back into that ready position. And with that waiting position. Good. All right, we're almost there. All right, a couple more. Two more, one and two. All right, guys, nice job. Now, you know me, if we do something on one side, we're gonna have to switch and now do a backhand on this side. Let me just put the ball out of the way for a second here. Whoop, goodbye ball. All right, so now, instead of holding in this hand, let's hold it in the other hand. So if I was gonna do my forehand on this one, the hand is on the bottom, but this would be my left hand, it's on the bottom. Now I'm gonna take my other hand and put it on the top because I wanna come this way and come through. All right, so again, put it in this hand over here. That hand is gonna be on the bottom. The hand over here is gonna come on to the top. I'm gonna to get into my waiting position. When the ball comes, I'm gonna step, bring it back and swing over. Now this might be a little uncomfortable for some of us because we're so used to doing it the other way, but it's good to get used to it because the better you're gonna become. So in case you have to play that way, you'll be ready for it. All right, so let's do a couple practice swings together. So stand up, push in your chair. Okay, waiting position. All right, we're gonna pretend the ball's coming onto this side. We have two hands on it, right? I got my bottom hand here, that's from this side. And this side hand goes on the top here. All right, so we're here, the ball's coming. I'm gonna step forward, racket goes low, swing over and finish where? Over your shoulder, good. Back to the waiting position. Step, swing back, and over. Good. All right, back that way position. So step, 
back and over. Good. So when I'm saying step back and over, I mean step, the racket goes back, and you're gonna go over your shoulder. So that's step, back, and then over. And right, here we go again. Step, back, over, good. Step, back, over, nice. Back to that weight position. See the little jump I do? After you swing it, it goes over your shoulder, quickly jump back into that waiting position. Step, back, over. Step, back, over. Step, back, over. Right back to that waiting position. Step, back, over. Step, back, over. Step, back, over. Two more. Step, back, over. Step, back, over. Good, okay, now we're gonna do it with the ball. So let me get the ball down. Here you go, ball. Whee! All right, so let's do a couple without me hitting it to you. I'm just gonna let it go. Once it gets to here, who remembers? What should you be doing? Still be in the waiting position or in the side position, the step forward position? Exactly, step forward. And then once you lose it, you swing and finish over your shoulder, all right? So I'm not gonna hit these ones. I'm just gonna drop it so I can go a little bit slower. Okay, you ready? Waiting position and swing. Good, remember, once it gets to about here, step forward. Once it's here and you've lost it, swing and quickly jump back into that waiting position. All right, here we go again, ready? And step forward, swing, nice. Ready, step forward, swing, good. Here we go again, step forward, swing, good. Step forward, swing, good. Don't forget, jump back into that waiting position and finish over your shoulder. Ready, step, swing. Over your shoulder, good. And go. All right, two more, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm just gonna drop it. Good, last one. Nice, great job. Okay, now I'm gonna use my backhand and hit it to you guys. Are you ready? All right, here we go. I'm gonna drop it first. And remember, when it gets to about here, you step forward. When it's here, you swing and jump back into your waiting position. Ready, and go. That's one. Good. Good. Make sure you finish over your shoulder. Nice job, guys. Remember, finish over your shoulder, jump back into that waiting position. Once you go over your shoulder, back to the waiting position. Good. Don't forget, step forward and so I go. Ball's getting a little out of control. Sorry about that. And go again. And boom. Woo. Boom. Woo. Boom. Good. Well done. Make sure you're using that backhand. Good. Nice. Jump back into that waiting position. Swing and over your shoulder. Swing and then over your shoulder. Swing over your shoulder. Good. Jump back in the waves. A lot of things you have to remember, I know. The more you practice it, the easier it becomes. You don't even think about it anymore. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. All right, last round we're gonna do, you can decide what side of the back end you wanna use. Do you wanna go this way or do you wanna go this way? I'm gonna just sit here <laughs> And I'm gonna hit the ball, but I'm gonna come a little bit faster. This is the fast man. Are you guys ready? All right, you can choose. Do you wanna go backhand this way or backhand this way? Whatever you would like to do. You guys ready? You sure? Okay, because I'm gonna come fast. So you're gonna have to quickly jump back into that waiting position and finish over your shoulder. Okay, ready? And go. And go. All right, it's coming faster. It's coming faster. Quickly jump back into that waiting position. I know this is hard. It's not easy. Swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. We'll do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, nice job. All right, you can have a seat if you want. We'll start with our Upper body stretches, that ball's definitely gonna fall up there in the stretch. It'll be funny, we'll leave it stay there. See, it just hit me in the back. Did you see that? Unbelievable ball, stay up there. 
Really got to them. All right, so we'll start with our stretches sitting down and then we'll do the stretches standing up. Usually we do the standing and then we come to sitting. Let's do it differently today. So one arm out, put it across, give it a hug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake it out and switch it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, shake it out. Let's do back scratches. Stretching the tricep muscle, three muscles in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake it out, switch to the other side, push it back and then stretch the triceps right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Side neck stretch, put your ear to your shoulder, pull to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and forward neck stretch. Put your chin to your chest and pull down just a little bit, stretching the back of the neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's stand up and do a couple of those stretches and then we'll be done. We'll talk about what we did today. We'll start with the hamstring stretch. So put your heel on the chair, whatever's in front of you, don't put it up too high. Remember, you can hold on to anything that's near you. You don't have to balance on this one. Toes to the sky, leg is straight, lean forward, you're stretching the muscles down the back of the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And switch to the other side. Heel, toe to the sky, leg is straight and lean forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, ah, we didn't use our legs that much today, we were just using our arms because we are playing tennis. Not true. Your footwork is just as important as your swing, right? Because we talked about stepping forward and then jumping back here. If you're standing here and you're waiting for the ball, if the ball goes on that side, all of a sudden you've got to quickly switch and hit the ball this way. So our feet, we're, we're using a lot today in our legs because after you hit here, you quickly jump back into this position because if the ball goes there, you're ready to go here. If the ball goes here, you're ready to go here. If I'm standing here after I hit it, well, I'm gonna be late to get that one. So we were using our legs a lot today, even though you didn't feel like it, or maybe you didn't realize it, but we use our legs a lot. So we need to stretch them and let them relax. Let's do that quad stretch now. So we'll bring up the leg behind us, right? You don't wanna pull it out to the side, pull it straight behind you and hold on to something so you don't fall over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's switch to the other side. Pull it straight behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, shake it out. Let's do the calf stretch. I'll move this bucket out of the way. Okay. All right. Again, you can hold on to the back of your chair, you can hold on to your desk as long as it's not sliding around. If you're close to a wall, you can do it. If you're at school, please do not walk over to a wall. Use the back of your chair or your desk. So we're gonna put our toe, right? Bring our heel to the ground. This leg is bent, this leg is straight. You should feel stretched down here. If you don't, you lean forward a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and switch to the other side. So toe, heel, leg is straight, leg is bent, and lean forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, guys, awesome job today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to watch it again because you enjoy hitting the ball back and forth, of course, go back and watch it again. If you didn't watch Tuesday or Monday's video, well, jump back in. Watch those ones as well, especially because we worked on the forehand. Today we worked on the backhand. All right, let's just review super quick before we leave the techniques and the things we have to remember. So on the backhand, it's the same waiting position. Two hands on the racket, right? Two hands on the racket. When we bring the racket back, we step forward, racket goes back, and we finish over the shoulder. And then we jump back into that waiting position, which is our whoop, 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 whoop. Knees are bent, right? Racket in front of us with two hands. The ball is coming to this side. I step forward, racket back, swing, and finish over my shoulder. All right? So again, waiting position, hands in front, two hands on it. It comes to this side, a step, rack it back, swing, and finish over. And you guys can practice that on your own too. You can just sit there and get your racket and swing. Maybe while you're watching TV or you're on a break and you want to just get a little bit of exercise and practice, you can. All right, guys, awesome job again. As always, enjoy, stay safe, and stay active.